Minasan konnichiwa, this is Mato Kahara from the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps and today we're going to look at the introduction of guns into Japan. And although guns existed in Japan prior to 1543, the arrival of Portuguese adventurers at Tanagashima Island also brought the ability to reproduce this new military technology. The arrival of the Portuguese adventurers was documented sometime after the initial landing this document, known as the Tepoki, was written in 1606. This means there is a 63 year difference. The daimyo of Tanagashima in 1606 ordered the creation of this document by his scholars in order to be a tribute to his father, Tanagashima Tokitaka, who is widely regarded as the samurai who introduced guns into Japan. Born in 1528, Tanagashima Tokitaka was only 15 years old when the Europeans arrived on Tanagashima Island. And although the Tanagashima clan were retainers to the Shimazu clan, this young samurai was the lord and master of his own domain. Impressed by the power of the firearms the Europeans had brought with them, the young daimyo bought two matchlocks from the adventurers. These firearms were based on a design from Portuguese Goa. At that time in history, the Portuguese had a colony on the west coast of India. As such, in the preceding decades, the Europeans had imported technology, including firearms, to that part of the world. It is for this reason that trade merchants and even pirates had likely been using guns already before 1543. However, all of these guns had to be purchased from the Europeans and they were not cheap. Now in possession of two matchlock guns, the daimyo of Tanagashima set his scholars to work in order to recreate them. Yaeta Kinbei and Sasagara Koshiro were not only instructed to figure out how the guns were made, but also all the ancillary components, such as gunpowder. Yaeta Kinbei had no problem reproducing the barrels. An experienced swordsmith, he was more than capable of working with metal. He was able to create solid metal barrels that were going to become the basis of the first type of matchlocks produced in Japan. However, he did have some difficulty recreating the screw, or bizen, at the end of the gun. But it wasn't long before these problems were overcome, and they moved on to the firing mechanism, which defines what a matchlock actually is. The casting of bullets was not a difficult problem to overcome, and neither was the creation of gunpowder. These were the first steps in feudal Japan to creating an industry of making their own firearms. During this time, there were many internal struggles in feudal Japan, and it was known as the Sengoku Jidai, or the Warring States era. The lords and captains of Japan could now equip their ashigaru, or infantry, with stockpiled weapons. As such, a new martial art was devised, the way of the gun, known as hojutsu. The ruling samurai could now train their soldiers in the way of the gun, the infantry would be taught new battlefield tactics which had not been seen in warfare in Japan before. And these weapons had greater range and greater power than any kind of weapon that had been used in feudal Japan before. Following the introduction of firearms to the samurai armies of feudal Japan, warfare was never the same again. 